You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Every offseason, there are media outlets that publish quotes from anonymous coaches. And I love reading those because you'll never get coaches to speak on the record. Rarely will you get coaches to speak on the record and say anything really juicy about another program. So you have to, in some degree, trust that the media outlet who publishes these quotes has enough credibility to get impactful coaches to say these things that they're giving anonymity. Like Athlon every year does something like this, what anonymous SEC coaches say about other SEC teams. And it's very interesting to see. And look, it could be, when you just say an SEC coach, it could be a an analyst at Vanderbilt. Could be. And so it doesn't have quite the clout as Kirby Smart, right? Or Steve Sarkeesian, who's coming in as an SEC head coach now. But... You just have to trust that the people publishing these quotes have connections and there's validity behind them with whoever they're asking. So uh, Lindy's, and we're good friends with the folks over at Lindy's. Our buddy Lynn Scarborough has been a contributor on the show for, I mean, for, golly, I met Lynn Scarborough in 2005, almost 20 years I've known Lynn Scarborough. Um, Lindy, who obviously is the, the publisher of the magazine, we talk to him every year at SEC Media Days. Well, Lindy's spoke to SEC coaches and gave them anonymity. And with respect to LSU, one of the questions asked was about Blake Baker and the LSU defense. And I, if you're an LSU fan, you will love this quote because it's not me saying it, a media member. It's not fans saying it. It's not even players who play for Blake Baker because as we've talked about many times in the offseason, Hope springs eternal. Eternal. Everyone's undefeated. Optimism abounds. Every coach, coaching hire was the greatest. Every recruit or transfer that you got is going to be an All-American. It's Everything is great in the offseason. So sometimes it's interesting to hear other coaches' perspectives who don't want you to have success. So this is what a coach, an SEC coach, said anonymously about LSU's hiring of Blake Baker. Here we go. Quote, They changed defensive coordinators from Madhouse to Blake Baker. And I'm not sure House's style worked. It was all over the place. A lot of exchange responsibilities, hence a lot of busts. It's going to be interesting in 24 with Baker because it's a major difference. Sometimes you need to cut it back. You need to simplify. But Baker is a phenomenal D coordinator and he should get that remedied really quickly. Not me saying it. That's another SEC coach talking about Blake Baker, and in particular, the contrast with Blake Baker and Matt House. And the thing about Matt House, which is so fascinating about why it didn't work here, it's just an illustration of how sometimes the same message told to a different group of people just doesn't connect. Matt House has a history as a really good defensive coordinator. He had been a good defensive coordinator at Pittsburgh. He had been a good defensive coordinator at Kentucky. Do you realize in 2018 when Matt House was the D.C. at Kentucky in the SEC, not only did they win double-digit games, that defense, that Kentucky defense in 2018, the 2018 Kentucky Wildcats defense, of which Matt House was the coordinator, was number six in America in scoring defense. Six in scoring defense. The guy, the guy can coach. Tyron Matthew called him one of the best coaches he ever had. He was a linebacker's coach with the Kansas City Chiefs. I just think with Matt House, you have a guy that through different periods in his career has been in the NFL and LSU got him after three years with the Chiefs and with Steve Spagnuolo. And I think conceptually, the verbiage, the concepts, all of it was just a little over the head of the college players that he was coaching. And it's not to say that they're not smart. That's not the point at all. It's just sometimes, like think, think about it this way. How many times 
do we hear rookies go from college to the NFL and how they got to dive into the playbook, how they're swimming because it's a new playbook, it's new verbiage, new terminology, it's complex schemes, it's all that sort of stuff, the mental part of the game at the next level, combined with the speed of the game, right? You want the game to slow down mentally for you, but that takes time. If Madhouse brought all that to the college level and those guys weren't ready for it, you know, you went from, think about it this way. You went from Durante Jones, who, and I don't mean any disrespect to Durante, who did come, by the way, from being an assistant with the Minnesota Vikings, but Durante hadn't been a DC since he was a DC in 09 at the Division II level. You went from that to a guy that was a linebacker's coach with the, with the Kansas City Chiefs the last three years. They won a Super Bowl in, in 2019 at the point. Like, yeah, man. that There has to be some understanding that you're not talking to 30-year-old veteran defenders. You're talking to 18, 19, and 20-year-olds who were playing you know, in, in high school a, a year prior. So maybe it was part of that. It was Madhouse's inability to communicate effectively what he needed the defense to do, his inability to simplify when they needed to, which is why when you had an erosion of talent coupled with a complicated scheme and your DC didn't adjust, you had the worst defense in history a year ago. But when you hear this coach, uh, this SEC coach anonymously say, I'm not sure House's style worked. It was all over the place. A lot of exchange responsibilities, hence a lot of busts. Well, if you're running coverage and your guys aren't getting it, there's going to be busts. Well, the way that you simplify is you go man-to-man. Well, from zone, well, LSU didn't have good enough players a year ago to play man coverage. And so when you try to play man, you get beat. When you try to play zone, there were busts. So hopefully... Blake Baker's impact immediately is twofold. One, simplify the defense. Because even with the personnel deficiencies LSU had a year ago, there's no reason to be 108th ever, to be 108th in the country in total defense at LSU. I don't care if the talent, it doesn't look like Derek Stingley and Caleb on Chasson and Patrick Queen and first rounders everywhere. It should never be 108. So simplifying it will make you better. And hopefully some of the talent influx that they've had this year We'll bump it up a little bit more. I've said it before, I'm going to keep saying it. I don't need this defense to be top 10. It'll even be top 20 or top 30. Just need them not to be the worst defense in the history of the program because the offense should be plenty good enough to win any game you play. The defense just can't lose it for you like they did a year ago. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.